I don't know if this would be helpful to anyone else because this is just for me. Usually when I make tutorial videos, it's mainly to help myself in the future if I forget how to do something. So there's this rig created by Mama's Boy, <laughs> which is really awesome. I've never used it before, but I figured out how to finally use it, so I'm pretty excited to show uh, myself in the future and others who are willing to download this because this rig itself uh, requires a Mental Ray plugin. But because Mental Ray has split from Maya 2017, if you have that version and up, um, they use their own renderer called Arnold. Or if you can download Mental Ray, you can separately. You have to purchase it separately instead of it coming with Maya. People use Redshift or Mental Ray. I I I just use Arnold because it comes with the thing, and I don't I can't afford uh, Redshift and or I don't know how to and don't want to try to uh, bootleg it. You can if you want to, you know, people love Redshift, I definitely recommend it. I've used it in school, but not at home. I just use Arnold. So when you download the rig, you go to Mediafire, not a big file, it's gonna download on the bottom left. Also, Mama's Boy, if you do see this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for this beautiful rig. I love it, and I've had trouble with it for literally a year. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally freaking figured out <laughs> how to fix the damn thing. So in the rig 4.1 zip file, there's going to be the MA, which is uh, the Maya ASCII uh, or LL22, whatever, World War II file. And then there's going to be uh, your source images, which is the Alex skin, the chicken raw, and a stone pickaxe. For source images, um, you want to copy the Alex skin, the chicken, and the pickaxe, which are these three PNG images. Uh, you can use TX images as well, or JPEGs, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just put it in this folder, source images, because that's where the MA file is going to be looking for it. Oh, look at that! Files contain mental ray node! This is the error that I've been getting, and it's been pissing me off. <laughs> and it says, errors have occurred while reading this scene. That may result in data loss. Please check the script editor for details. So basically, when you would launch Arnold, and if you don't know how to get Arnold, I'll show you in like a second. Um, actually, let me put in a light because you can't see shite anyway. Boop, Arnold, there you go. You see the eyes. You can see it's beautiful, beautiful eyes. But you can't see like anything else. Everything's completely pitch black. And it's, uh, it's not just that the character is black itself and there's a black background. It's that it's actually completely transparent. One eternity later. Uh, it's the next day. I spent hours again trying to figure out what the hell I did. And I figured it out again. You download the rig. <laughs> then you go to your documents. Maya. Projects. Default. And you want to put everything into scenes. Like everything you're working on. All your projects. All your scenes. You save all your scenes here. Hence the... It's freaking scenes. If it sounds like I'm super sarcastic, I am because I'm really annoyed with how long it took me to figure it out and then now have to refigure out. Top left, file, optimize, box, unknown nodes, click it, optimize now. Yes, you can uncheck it or leave it checked, it doesn't matter. Then you want to click on skin sets. Grab all of them <laughs> or one of them. Right click and go to material attributes. It was here the whole time. This was staring me in the freaking face. The shading engine exists on the character, but it's not connected to a material. So the shader is on it, which is hence why it's black, but there's no material on it. So hence you can't see the character skin. You want to go into here or space, right click and hold it. Hyper shade prep, let go. Ah, fuck, Arnold's not on again. God damn it, I hate when it does that. Windows, settings and preferences, plugin manager. Scroll all the way down until you see mtoa.mll. Click loaded and then close it. You should have Arnold. Boom. You will get this. Have that on. This should be on the top right. Also these. I think these have already been there. Never mind. Boom. So now we have to find the skin set again, which is the skin set of the meshes. So all these. Grab one of them. Material. Boom. This one. So we're looking for Maya material. A 25 GS, which should be this one. Graph network on the skin. Click on one of the meshes in the skin set so you see the polys. Material attributes. Click and hold the right click. And then you'll see it's the MIA material 25 GS. So it should be one of these. Here we go, 25G. This is the skin. This. 
engine exists on this, but without a paired material. And the material we're looking for is in here, the skin. So you can either click it or right click and then graph the network, which would be here. So the texture of the skin is a Lambert and assigned to this shader. We don't want this shader. Screw this shader. This shader doesn't do anything for us. So then we go to the shading group, uh, material 25 SG. So it's here, this one. So grab it, drag it in here, grab this arrow and just slap it onto here. Just click it, just left click it. There you go. Boom, magic. <laughs> so now the shader, which is on the character has a texture, which is a single color, but we gave the texture a skin, and that skin is being layered onto the texture, which is shaded onto the polygons. <laughs> That's not exactly the terminology of this, but just so you can understand a little bit how it works, that's it, that's basically it. And then if you want to see if it works, just make a little light in the rendering tab, get a light, click on the light, press W, you get the blue arrows, then the green arrows, go to Arnold, Arnold render view, and it'll show you this. The light is still in front of the face. Let me do that a little bit more. Okay. I'm not clicking on this camera. This camera is just a preview. If you want to move around, you have to move around in the scene. So, um, Alt and then middle mouse click and you can do that. And then Alt and left mouse click is rotate and then Alt and right mouse click is zoom. Um, obviously you notice it's not very pretty. So what you do with that, go back to where you have your skin, graph that network again, or actually you can just click it. Attributes editor, go down to Arnold, clip from filter type, from smart cubic, go to closest, and then boom, you'll get this. Jesus Christ, that took me so long. <laughs> For sure, I have my 1.8 skins. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh, pan. Yeah, so that works. You're gonna have eyes, but you can easily disable that. There's like a setting somewhere to do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely use 1.8 skins. I think there's a... <laughs> oh, poor Captain Sparkles. I felt something wet on my armpit. I got scared it was a spider. <laughs> Optimizing and removing unknown nodes is just a quick way to, for the system to be like, uh, let me check, let me check, that's not needed, delete, delete, delete. Um, it won't delete everything. The real only way to kind of make sure that every redshift node or uh, mental ray node is gone is by going to the outliner display or windows outliner and then the display diagonally objects and then just kind of scroll down and look for MIA, um, MIA mental ray, or redshift it should be not too hard to check out thank christ i have to edit two hours of footage from yesterday and then add this at the end of it god damn it 